All right. So in high school, you played football, and you were all district. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. You were and, a li- um, line, linebacker, right? Linebacker, man. I was one of the best in the nation, man. And I went to um, Southern Methodist University. That's where it all started, man. I mean, we got the death penalty, man. That's when they took our football uh, program for illegal recruiting violations. We the only team in history that got that, man. They had that, that 30 for 30 on ESPN about us called Pony Excess, man. And um, that's when I majored in theater because I, I needed three hours of transfer you know, to University of Missouri. And then uh, I majored in theater, man. And once I started doing that, man, I was bit by the bug, baby. Okay, and I just want to kind of talk about the Southern Methodist uh, part. So you were playing for Southern Methodist, and you had a, a full uh, football scholarship, right? Right. Okay, so you really were a top player at that point. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was one of the okay. top linebackers that came out of high school at that time. Okay. And, you know, Texas, man, football is like religion. You know, you you if you good out of Texas, man, you you one of the best in the country. Texas or Florida, you one of the best in the country. Okay, so you get to Southern Methodist University, which is considered a, a top school, also, right? Yes, sir. At the time, we okay. was like three in the nation, I believe. That's where Eric Dickinson, Craig James, you know. Okay, so you're at the number three school in the nation, and you were there for three years. Yep, three years. Okay. And during those three years, were you starting? Were you a standout? Uh, my or? second year, I started. Second, my sophomore year, I played my my freshman year. You know, I, I was they was rotating me into the lineup, and then um, I ended up taking a guy position, the one that told on us, <laughs> and he was okay. upset about that. And um, you know, he told you know that that we were getting paid and all that. But you know, long story. Okay. Man. All right, so you're the reason why the whole school went. No, no, nah, nah, I'm was, not that. That reason, was all because of you. I wanted some money. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I always tell everybody every time they ask me about the SMU, man. I always plead the fifth. <laughs> okay, so here you are as a sophomore. You're starting at the number three school in the country, so you're really on a trajectory to go pro. Yeah. 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 And yep. then the scandal happens. And then, well, I got I I uh, had a knee injury. Matter of fact, I was okay. the captain of the of the team that week in uh, against University of Houston. Got a knee injury, and then um, the year after that, my my junior year is when we got hit with the death penalty, man. And you know, it's like I didn't know what we were gonna do. So you know, my girlfriend was living with me at the time, who's my wife now, and. Um, that's when I, I needed those three hours, man. So I taking those three hours to transfer because, you know, um, uh, other schools were like, you know, well, you have to do this and you have to do that. But Missouri was desperate. So I went to Missouri, man, because I had, you know, the, the messed up knee. And um, they, you know, I still was fast. So they accepted me and I went up there and started, you know, theater and um, got in the black theater workshop, did a soldier's play, was CJ Memphis and came to California, man. True story. I told people, my friends, I said, yo, man, I said, I'm finna go to Hollywood and hang with Stallone. And I said, the next time you see me, I'll be on TV. Went to Hollywood. The first move I did was Stallone. The next time I seen him, I was on TV. True story. Well, <laughs> I just want to want to touch on the Southern Methodist uh, story real quick. Mm-hmm. So what exactly happened to bring down that program? Well, you know, it, it was it was crazy, man. Dave, David Stanley, man, was um, was um, the guy that that they said got a big amount of money, and you know, Dale Hansen. Dale Hansen was the the news reporter. You know, Dale Hansen. Uh, he 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 he's he's big now. He still you know do um, news and commentary, and um, he called the coaches in, and the coaches it was he wanted to ask coach, talk about the 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 Texas A and M game. We getting ready to play Texas A and M, uh, and they put a, they presented a letter in front of the coaches. Said, "Hey, you seen this letter? It's from David Stanley right here. He said that you guys you know send him payments in this letter, and the coaches tried to deny it, but you know evidence was overwhelming. <laughs> so." That's how we got brought down, man. Dale Hansen called him in to talk about a game, and he presented a he 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 just shocked them with a letter that David Stanley had provided to them. That's how we got okay. caught. That's how SMU, the program. Then not only SMU went down, the whole Southwest Conference no no longer exists now. 
You know, that that okay. that's what a, you know, one of the toughest conferences in the nation. We had us, Texas, Baylor, Texas AM, Houston, all those teams. Now, you know, they are different conferences now because it's no longer Southwest Conference. Okay, so the coaches were playing were paying the players that's under what, the table. According to the NCAA, the uh alums was paying the players. Aha. So the alum the the yeah. alumni were but, running but, money through the- But but you know, man, I mean that happens all over the nation, man. I mean, I mean, if you see any winning program, I guarantee you is some kind of way that players are getting paid. Either the player's parents are working for the school because they get the parents a job, making $180,000, man, just to, to come and check on kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or you know, may, may sweep up the coach's office and get – you know, $150,000. So it's some way that colleges know how to do it now. It's, it's easy now. You know, it's, it's, I mean, you know, I believe that, that you know, I mean, look, kids cannot get a job. You can't get a job. If you're, at, if you're on scholarship, you can't get a job. You can't work. So how are you supposed to, you know, support yourself? I mean, the only thing you get there is, you know, food and, and uh, books, but, you know, you need other little things here and there. So, hey. Well, right. I mean, Reggie Bush, he had his Heisman Trophy taken away because yeah, that the, was, they, you that know, was garbage, they caught man. him taking payments. That was that was bad. That was bad. I mean, come on. It's, it's, no, it's no school. I mean, who who do you think? When I first came to California in 89, USC was a skimpy looking little place, but everybody thought it was real big and you know prestigious. But you look at it now, it's very prestigious and, and it's very rich. And the money came from the football program. It didn't come from the soccer program. It didn't come from the golf program. It didn't come from the water polo program, the field hockey. It came from football. So all these players making all that kind of money for the schools, you know, then why not break them off a little something, you know, a little, a little, you know, stipend here and a little stipend there. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, no, listen, I, I support college players getting paid. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always have. Like, I, I feel that it's a, uh, you know, especially if college players at a certain level for certain types of school. Not not everyone are on an equal level, but right, like, right. Hey, listen, if you're if you're the reason why you're filling up these stadiums, yeah, you know, exactly. and, and, you know, your image is being used in video games and stuff like that, and That's right. there's all types of uh, you know Nike and Adidas deals being done through the coach. Yep, yep, and I you're mean, the face yeah, of the. And, you, and, you, 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 you know, you're the face of the university. They have your picture all on the buses and all on the your billboards. You know, people coming to see you, and you get nothing. <laughs> yeah, you well, get a lollipop and a handshake, man. You get an education. Well, let's yeah, yeah, you get an education. But you know, they say uh, uh, student athlete. No, it should be athlete student because you spend more time at the uh, athletic facilities than you do in class. Okay. I mean, you you have films, you have weights, you have practice, and after that, man, you have you have study time. You have to go look at, at you know your playbook, all that kind of stuff, man. And then you, you you make time for class, and then they call it student athlete. No, man, it's the hmm. other way around, man. It's athlete student. Some like like college basketball, they automatically know they just coming for one year. Zion Williamson knew that he wasn't gonna be at, at Duke his sophomore year, man. So you go there. I mean, what to go to class for? You going to you going to play you going to play basketball. You're not you're not going to class. 